How small can you get a projector? Look how small this thing is. Let's check this thing out. What's going on YouTube? Today we're gonna to be talking about Torx D042 mini DLP projector. So this is a 1080p mini DLP projector. It's pretty small. Look at the size of this compared to my phone. This is a iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's a lot smaller than my iPhone. I can't believe this. This thing is really light and it has an onboard battery so you can charge it up and you don't have to have this thing plugged in to project anything you're playing or anything like that. I can't believe how small this thing is. <laughs> I've said this twice now, but this is, this is what you get. The price on this thing is $289. And right now there is a coupon code for $80. So you can get it for about $200 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out as well as more information about this that I don't list today. So there are a few things that I really like about this projector and a few things I didn't like. I wanna start off with the things I really did like about this. For one, the size of this, it's really small. I'm gonna go on a trip here in just a little bit and this is gonna be easy to throw in my bag or backpack or anything like that. It's really nice. It has a recessed lens here, so it can help it prevent it from scratches or anything like that. It's also kind of small, which kind of is a downside to this because the lens is not gonna be able to produce as good of a quality image as a larger one, but the lens is kind of small, so it gives a lot less chance of getting scratched if you're throwing it around in your backpack or a luggage piece. Uh, the cool thing about the top is, is it doubles down as a remote. So there are different remote options on top of the actual unit itself. Um, it does come with a portable remote or its own remote as well. So that way you can change settings or change features on it when you're not near this. Uh, it does have a battery on it. It's, I think it's 7,000 milliamps. I'll put it up here if I'm incorrect, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty big. They say it'll do about two and a half hours of a movie and about six hours of playing music on the battery. You can also plug it in and leave it plugged in while you're playing. It does have on one side here, a power button, as well as uh, looks like a headphone jack. So you can plug in an external speaker, um, and a speaker of some sort, like a sound system, or even your headphones if you want to. On the side here, it does have a manual focus ring. Uh, one thing I noticed on this, one I didn't like about this is it's kind of hard to get to. Um, kind of small. It is indented here, so that helps out, but it is kind of a small area to get your finger in there and focus on the screen itself. On the back side, you have the speaker on the back. It's a pretty nice speaker. They do say it's like a 360 speaker, um, but the sound quality of this, I'm really impressed with, with how small this thing is. I'll have the sound quality going on later on when we get to see the video footage and what it looks like. It does have a USB port, so you can put in like a micro, or not a micro USB, but a thumb drive with data on it. And it has the infrared sensor place area for it, um, a DC barrel connector for the power and an HDMI port here. And what's really nice is all these are kind of in a certain way, in a direction that you're not gonna have anything running into each other as far as the cords go. Now on the bottom side, they do have this nice rubber little feet on the bottom, so that way it can, when it's sitting on something, it isn't able to slide around. It also limits the vibration that goes on between the unit itself and what you set it on, so that way it doesn't vibrate or anything like that with the fans going on. And then you have a quarter 20 thread for the tr little mini tripod or any tripod that you use for it. So that's a little bit about the unit and a few things I like about it and what I didn't like about it. Let's go ahead and talk about what you get in the box. So in the box, you do get the actual projector. Shocking, right? I get it. You do get the power cord with the barrel connector. One thing I didn't like about this compared to what I've seen before is this one's just a regular standard barrel connector, not like a USB-C or USB um, micro USB. They do provide you with an HDMI cable, which is kind of nice. And then you get a user manual, which is pretty informative what you can do with this. And then you also get kind of a quick setup guide inside the box. So as far as quality of the video, we're gonna go ahead and play this as well, kind of like a, a B-roll of some type here. But the quality of the video isn't too bad. I One thing I noticed is you didn't have to have the actual projector too far away from the wall for it to project. It does project up from 20 inches up to 114 inches, I think they say 100 max, but 
20 to 100 inches as far as projection goes. The quality of the video is not as crispy as I would have liked, but coming out of the small lens, uh, it does what it can. And I've noticed that some of the areas or some of the screen or some of whatever I'm playing is a little bit darker than normal. As you can see here, the little video of me, it does appear a little bit darker, uh, not as well lit, even though there's a lot of light coming out of the projector. So there's a few downsides to this being a small projector with a small lens is the crispiness of the video as well as kind of a little bit of a little darkness to the video color. That's one thing I really noticed about this that wasn't that great, but for $200, this isn't a bad projector for what they call a mini portable DLP. So being that it has a USB plug on the back side, it does allow for you to hook up a thumb drive to it and ha have some videos or photos or whatever. So you can, you can download a video or, um, I was gonna say copy a video, but copy a video from a DVD or anything or something like that, or a uh, Blu-ray and put it on a thumb drive and pick it up onto the projector and go play a video. So if you're out camping or outside or even in your house, you can go ahead and play a video from the USB that's stored on the USB thumb drive. They also have the HDMI port for it. So that way you can hook up a Blu-ray player, DVD player, a Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, whatever. And you're, you're gonna have the capability of that. One downside to this projector, it doesn't have an actual OS. Some different kinds have a Android OS on it, so which allows you to download some apps like Plex or something like that. So you're gonna have to hook up a uh, device like a Roku or an Amazon Fire Stick to this, so that way you can get any apps like the Plex or something like that similar. Now, what they do provide you is the capability of casting from your iPhone or Android device, and I think your Windows device as well, so you'll be able to cast or mirror the image off your phone, tablet, or computer of some sort. That way you can cast that onto this or onto the screen and you can cast what you're watching on your phone, tablet, or your computer to the device or the projector itself. And that's kind of cool. So that way you don't actually need an operating system. Your operating system is your phone or your device. So I guess that's kind of one way of getting around it. That's just one thing that I really, I wish they would have put like an Android 9.0 at least on here to help out, but I understand. There's not a whole lot of room or a whole lot of different things you can put on this because of the size of it. So it does have auto keystoning for vertical only. So if you have it tilted up a little bit or tilted down, it will automatically correct or keystone. So that way it'd be a square, an actual square or rectangle on the wall versus kind of looking all wonky or out of shape but it does have a manual focus. So there's no auto focusing. I don't know very many projectors below $500 that have auto focusing anyways, if any at all. So you're not really missing out on there. And plus sometimes I like to auto focus or focus myself um, to get that crisp as crispy of image as possible. So to recap this review on this mini projector, uh, the things that I really like about it is the size of it, the portability of it. Um, the fact that it's battery operated, it has a keypad or a remote on top so that way you don't actually have to have the remote with you if you take it somewhere and you don't have the remote that would suck it doesn't matter because you get on the top of this uh, a few other things is battery operated i think i already said that but battery operated so you don't have to have a plug-in source if you don't have one um, the fact that it, the sound of this is really nice uh, really good quality uh, for how small it is and even if it wasn't as this size i think the sound quality is phenomenal for what it is and being able to hook it up to an external source so that if I have my little JBL flip, I can hook it up to that if I wanted to, to get a lot better or loud uh, sound to project it off of. A few things that I really didn't like about this, and I'm gonna be honest here because it's I owe it to you guys as a viewer to list the things that you gotta think about when you're purchasing this unit or purchasing something like this. Uh, the quality of the video wasn't as crisp as I really liked. It's not bad for what it is. Um, can you get away with it? Yes. Uh, it's just not as crisp as I really like. And it's almost leaves me for wanting more, uh, just a little bit, but for all the positives kind of outweigh that just a little bit, depending on the price that you're going to get it at. So the crispness is not as crisp as I would like. Uh, it's a little bit darker of an image. The darker area is a little bit darker and that kind of the quality of that's kind of lacking just a little bit. I wish it was a little bit better, but for the lens it is, I understand. And uh, 
I think those two things are the biggest things I don't like about this. And then, then there's one more thing. It's I wish it would have had like Android 9.0 or something like that so I can download apps to it. Not a big deal. I, I'm just going to say it because it is one of the downsides I don't like about it. But the fact that you can mirror from your phone or use the USB portion of it or even HDMI with a with a, like a Roku stick. Who doesn't have one of those? Or Amazon Fire Stick. Those are the greatest things to have anyways. So those are the three things I didn't like about it. But there are a lot more things that I like about this. Again, this thing's 200 bucks right now on Amazon. 289 usually regular. So go ahead and look at, if you're interested in it, go ahead and link, look at the link below in my description. And you can find a little bit more information about this too that may, may be something I've missed. If you have any questions, comments, or opinions about this, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you and what you think about this. What could you use this for? Let me know in the comments what you could use this for. If this video helped you in any way, please leave me a like. And if this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing and I will see you next time.